Hey man, so we got some goddamn TikTokers calling out 2K Lab and 2K Toots telling you that they are lying. So we are gonna cover their videos, man. And we gonna see what's really going on. We gonna get a consensus on everything because this is very important, man. We spending a hundred a build. So these type of things really matter. Now look, before I even get into this, I do like 2K Lab and 2K Toots and I think they are very helpful to the 2K community. Most of their stuff pretty accurate, but I think it it, it, it gives you a, a piece of the pie, not the whole pie, you know? So it gives a certain perspective, but not the whole perspective, you know? See, we've been breaking down the game, all the uh, like comp people, whatever, bro, since 2K15 on the tube, right? And we, we put it out faster than anyone. This is every year before they even existed, right? So they are helpful, but there's a different perspective when you go online and stuff and you figure out certain situations and all this and that. But, da, 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 da. but anywho, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest K in existence. Before we get into the video, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. Help me hit 281K.3. We are like 85 subscribers away. And make sure you hit that goddamn like button. Help me get 100 likes within the first hour so the vid can get pushed to the algorithm. Don't be a hater. It's free. So firstly, we're gonna look at TCAT, okay? Now let's see what uh TCAT gotta say, okay? NBA 2K Lab and 2K Tuts are wrong, okay? Let's give them a like. Here's why you shouldn't blindly trust 2K Labs and 2K Toots. The way they've been conducting their tests is lazy, Ooh. at times not even related to what they're actually testing for, Ooh. and I'm not the only one who's got a problem with the way they conduct themselves. 2K Labs is lying to you about your uh -oh. jump shot and your three-point rating. But where things go left between me and uh -oh. 2K Toots is that Toots thinks I cannot speak uh -oh. on the findings. There's all oh, he's bringing, he's bringing the goddamn <laughs> Marvel allegiance. Hold on. Hold on, what's going on? So dozens of comments the community keeps posting across multiple channels. So I decided okay. to do my own test on one of the most debated stats in the game, offensive consistency. Bro, this ain't the most debated stat the game, you cap it. <laughs> <laughs> For this test, I took two players, both as shooting guards, six foot eight, 199 okay. pounds, 87 three ball, 90 okay. mid-range, 85 ball handle, 78 speed with ball, and one with 97 O's. Bro. Since y'all been making these videos, I went and checked mine, and one of my ratings has a 99 offense consistency and 98. So I'm like, yeah, I know this whole word. Hold See, on. and the other was 68 OC. Identical. Y'all comment down below y'all's uh offensive consistency for uh your favorite mod player. Shooting badges, all relevant badges, fully upgraded, identical dribble moves, shooting animations, takeover, okay. and relevant hot and lethal zones. Both okay. players will be taking fades, going to their right, half open and half slightly contested on Hall of Fame difficulty in my career. Any perks wait. will be switched to defense only for both. An equal number of shots will be taken in both hot and lethal wait, zones with wait. the shot meter on so you guys can see the timings on them. Wait, wait. Are you plugged in? T-Cat, are you plugged in? Don't tell me you got a machine plugged in. And visualize any human error. They will also be boosted in every category and Gatorade slot to better simulate real game situations. Okay. And unlike 2K Labs and 2K Toots, I will show you the physical tests I did. Three games were played for okay. each, with both players taking 40 shots in the first game, 33 in the second game, and 30 in the third. Okay. The lower OC player shot 12 of 40, 11 of 33, and 11 of 30. The higher OC player shot 19 of- Yeah, but are you plugged in? Because you, you know, you know. 40, 17 of 33, and 17 of 30. If you were to take all the shots for each and compare their percentages, it would be 33% versus 51%. Mm. That is an 18% difference between 97 yeah. and 68 OC based on my testing. Something you guys want to pay attention mm. to is look at some of these shots and how the green window sizes are visually different on almost identical shots. figure out some sauce y'all 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 think he kept it this is interesting Ah, so you might be thinking with all this data that maybe human error played a factor and if i may interject an experience i had during this okay so he's not plugged in he is not plugged in test it felt like on the lower oc player i really had to focus on the timing whereas mm. the higher oc player felt like his meter would snap into place more often finally okay. i never activated takeover during any of these games because that would have hugely favored the higher oc player because look how much more often the higher oc OC player has his takeover meter filled throughout the entirety and even through some misses. That means 
Damn, so you, he's saying you get takeover faster with offense consistency. What y'all think? What y'all think? means that practically speaking, in an actual game situation, the higher OC player will have drastically higher shooting percentages because of their takeover mm. advantage, which leads me back to 2K Labs and 2K Toots original tests. Mm. There is no way you can test these stats outside of actually building the players, mm. testing them in game modes that could demonstrate momentum swings and takeover on Hall of Fame mm. difficulty. It's also a disservice to not include some difficult shots and some slightly contested shots based Very on how offensive consistency Very operates. Listen, this video isn't designed to attack their integrity because they've done so much good for the community, but we as a community mm -hmm. are asking your channels to do better because of the impact your I think creators like like for instance, because this is a money thing, right? They 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 stuff is lazy and all this and that. Who knows? I, I don't I don't particularly feel like that. But I do feel like they give you a piece of the pie. I think it's always been like that. But with creators in general, like you'll see, for instance, like young, young ruckus, right? You know, you got to put out a bill video a day, two bill videos a day, whatever the hell you put out a day. It, it, it eventually come to the point to where you're like, or y'all, y'all will see someone like post a vid about like my 99 layup is so amazing. They damn near convinced you to make a 99 layup. But uh, you go see them play with that 99 layup live. They is not like that, my boy. Genjutsu, okay? Y'all have to understand YouTube videos. I'm talking about creators, right? Videos are not real. They're, listen, they are not real. More people are less honest than others. You can really create a image, right? a false reality it's just like when y'all go back and y'all look at these older 2ks you're looking at highlights insane moments that rarely happen and you're judging the whole 2k off of it like y'all think ankle breakers was crazy op in 17 and y'all don't even realize it's damn near the same right it's way over hyped y'all y'all think 2k 15 was just straight demigods and the, the shooting was just easy as hell and everyone's over seven foot and y'all don't even realize because you weren't there and it's not represented well because people was like barely posting or whatever the hell you don't even know where to go look like you don't you don't realize that the demigod glitch came out like the last three months of the game or last two months of the game and patch one through three of 2K15 was like the hardest shooting ever. For a top tier player like me, to drop 40 in the wreck was insane. Now you could just drop 150. But people don't know that. And you know, y'all saw the Fredos drop 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. But then everyone just thinks of like, you know, 16, a lot of people, they don't even know that 16, speed, but speed boost was in 2K16. Channels have on the community. Finally, NBA 2K owes me about $100 for making oh. me have to build useless bills to test stats they won't clearly define. And at the end of the day, oh, that's damn. the real problem. To summarize, oh, based on God my finding, there's an 18% statistical difference between 97 and 68 OC. Hey, 2K land, you'll give me a it. God damn. But huge practical difference in overall shooting performance. And remember, one time is happenstance. Twice is coincidence. But three times, statistically, is a pattern. We got Biffalus, man. 2K Labs is lying to you. Let's see what he is saying, man. 2K Labs is lying to you about your jump shot and your three-point rating. Now, let me preface Damn. this by saying I like 2K Labs and all the stats they've put out for us over we the years, but this year is not it. What 2K Labs does is they test the make percentage at different points in the green window for different jump shots, three-point okay. ratings, and badges. In previous years, that was great because sometimes even when you would release your shot in the green window, it wouldn't turn green. That's what we uh -huh. call the full bar, but it doesn't work that way this year. There's a... Hey, 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 Biffles, how, how you know it don't work like that? Y'all, y'all, y'all down below. Y'all ain't ever felt like you released it perfectly and it's not turning green that goddamn rng my boy <laughs> i'm not dumb there's a pure green window and mike wayne literally explained that under one whoa whoa, whoa. i'm lagging i'm lagging hold on hey you, you ticky lagging my boy hey first off biffles biffles okay it don't matter what mike wayne explains he's a proven liar and, and I'm gonna I'm tell you why, man. Everything he says the game's gonna be, it never ends up being. So just because he's explaining something a certain way doesn't mean it ends up being like that. People gotta understand these people are horrible at the game. You feel me? They don't play it. They just create it. 
right? And it's not like they're like really sculpt, like they're some damn samurai sculpt. No, bro, they're like, there could be something in the system that make things not work a certain way. And then they got to say things a certain way for the promotion and all this and that. Bro, if he knew the whole shoe was broken, why would he want to tear down the whole system and rebuild it? That's going to be way harder on his team. It's going to cost way more money. And then they're going to have to go through the same problems if something breaks down again. So they want to keep building upon this, especially when only the top echelon people are really noticing what's going on. But yeah, let's... Why is your ticky lagging? 2K Labs is lying to you about your It wouldn't turn green. That's what we call the full bar. But it doesn't work that way this year. There is a pure green window. And Mike Wang literally explained that under one of the- Man, that, that, bro, 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 bro. That pure green window thing, that hoe is a genjutsu, bro. Like, even right here, the way he's explaining it is, have you seen anyone miss a green? So does that mean that's what he thinks a pure green window is? If you don't miss a green, I thought the pure green window was you have the ability to make every single shot. But yeah, their tweets, which means if you let go of your shot in the green window, it will turn green this year. The reason some people are struggling is because the green window is just smaller this year. So why does 2K Labs data say that a 95 three pointer has a higher make percentage in the green window than let's say a 65 three pointer? Because as we all know, your shot timing changes, which means that with a modded controller, you can't time every shot perfectly, which is what 2K Labs uses for their tests. Because the green window on a 95 three-pointer is much bigger than a 65 three-pointer, even when the shot they're testing changes timings, the 95 has a bigger target window to hit. I'm telling you this so you know, the game is not cheating you. If you just learn where on your shot to release it, you will green it every time. It's just harder because the window is smaller. It's annoying because they know this and still mislead people for content. Oh, T-Cat, say it louder and they did test. The shoe one's broken, my boy. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. It's not that the shooting's hard. It's that it's random, bro. It's already been exposed, man, by talented people who don't get off the game, man. Like, you're getting random slowdowns. You're getting random speed ups, right? Even when they keep saying they taking it in and out, it's still there. You release it damn perfectly, same release cue, and it's, it's not going in at times. They completely broke the damn limitless range, the the bro it's completely broken but it's still easy right like it's still easy but you can notice when the hoe is broken and people gotta understand bro they build the game so the top echelon top five percent ten percent of people don't go bananas this is why they have had rng in the game they have built in caps so people can't go crazy but the lower tier players can still shoot pretty decent, right? And what the better players are noticing is when the game is making them miss, right? When the game is giving them random timings, uh, a more uh, a, a negative 1% casual, he's not going to notice that. He think he just got to go in the lab and practice it. But a better player, he's going to notice these things. We're calling it out because that's fake that's rng who the hell wants that they gotta stop worrying about the greater people and make something that's real we pay a hundred dollars a build let us play something that's real okay not something that's just picking on the better players and bro think about that guys say we're playing call of duty and because my aim's so good sometimes it's gonna make me not lock on the targets because i'm too amazing bro that's crazy that's, that's crazy. Why am I playing? <laughs> I, he can't be better than me. Like, you, you feel me? Like, bro, they build it in a certain way to build up the weak and pull down the strong. What they don't realize is that just breaks the game once even the, the, the lower tier players, they learn that the hoe is just broken. It's all by design. Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen talking about the goddamn huge shooting buff that happened. Mike Wang is losing his mind. Get into but it. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo. Off the top of the dome, dome.